So you get right there the last second, you swerved in the dark, it was over. Almost two years ago to the day, Jason Nixon is back traveling to the spot where his life went off the road. About a quarter of the way down after you come over the crest, we noticed an animal laying there. At first I didn't even know what it was because it looked weird. I came to a stop as we got out, we realized it was a horse, but all of its insides were out, including a baby foal. Nixon was general manager at Mountaineer Lodge near Sundry, an addictions treatment facility, part of Calgary's mustard seed ministry. Clearing animals and debris from this steep, dangerous section of Coal Camp Road was nothing new for those who live and work here. And we come across a horse that was lying in the middle of the road, uh, probably about here, out like this with both its feet facing down and its back to the truck. Uh, its insides were kind of in between its legs and the baby foal was off into the ditch about here. Nine months later, Nixon and two other men were charged with shooting the pregnant wild horse and dumping its carcass down the hill. The story was front page news. An arrest, finally, after 15 years of wild horse shootings in the Sundry area. If you saw the news coverage in the 2009, the up to 2010, it was, it was a very big issue. And I, I think the police were under major pressure. Nixon now lives on a rented farm with his wife, three kids, and a handful of horses. He estimates doing the right thing that day cost his family over $100,000. You know, good Samaritan anyway, that's all I was trying to be. And because of that, I lost my job, my wife's lost her job. Uh, my entire team at Mountaineer Lodge, all our staff that lost our jobs, they, they let all of us go, even the people that weren't involved with the, uh, the horse. And of course, my kids had to be uprooted. We ended up living in a hotel for several months until we could find a place to rent. Uh, we had five days to move out. It was pretty dramatic. On Wednesday, charges against the three men were dropped after new evidence showed the mayor was never shot, but likely died giving birth or from a fall. Four hunters had discovered the horse earlier and even attempted a roadside C-section to save the foal. Not only were they, did they give this evidence, but they had actually taken pictures of the situation. It's believed David Gertz, a longtime crack and crystal meth addict, dreamed up the outrageous story to get a $25,000 reward. It's my view some of this, uh, some of the investigation perhaps could have, uh, uh, could have led to this, uh, you know, depending on, on the way they handled it, quite frankly. But um, this is what happens in our system a lot of times. I'm, 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 I'm angry uh, at, the, at the RCMP uh, more so than I am at the witness. I don't know if that makes sense. I'm very disappointed in the witness, but I almost expect it okay. from somebody who's suffering from okay. addictions. Like, I get that. Mm. I, I, do I, do don't, that? I don't get the RCMP not getting this whole story and, you know, I have to hire a defense team to uncover all the evidence. I don't really think that was fair. Any criminal lawyer will tell you whenever a reward is posted, you get the risk of obviously financial motives entering the picture. The Crown Prosecutor says the new evidence only recently came to light. And I can tell you that when uh, the Crown received its file, it had at that time a reasonable likelihood of conviction. Um, Further evidence came forward, which was ultimately shared by the defense, which uh, was not known to the RCMP and ultimately could not have been known to, but to the RCMP. Jason Nixon may have lost his job, his house, his livelihood, not to mention the damage done to his father Pat's reputation, the Mustard Seeds founder and an Order of Canada recipient. But one thing Jason didn't lose is his faith. All I've ever known is street people. My whole life, my dad ran the Mustard Seed from basically the day I was born. Um, I count some extra people as my closest friends. Uh, the 30 years that I've been around the must-see to the burning bush before that, I've never seen anything like this happen. So I'm not ready to write off uh, street people altogether over this. As for me, I don't know. The, the doors in that area have slammed shut definitely on me right now. If they open again, I, I would go back and help people. I'd be uh, a pleasure. I don't really know what I'm going to do next. So. And knowing what he now knows? I would do it again, absolutely. I would rather be accused of this no matter how hard it was and it's been hard then uh, know that I didn't move it and somebody had died because of my negligence. Rick Donkers, CalgaryHerald.com near Sundry, Alberta.